you're in a male dominated field and you have this R rated sci fi epic drama on Netflix, you know, talk about the importance of showing that women can do this. Like, we're not, you know, it doesn't have not, to be. Not able? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that, but that's the, that is the fun, right? For me, the fun, when you, when you do get to go on set and watch Renee Elise Goldsberry be the leader of the revolution and be sort of the, the most, uh, to be able to create the, these characters, these female characters who have all this agency and have all this power in, in a very dark and chaotic world, which, you know, it's an, it's an R-rated show. So I, I do think that, I do think that, representation exists on a continuum and there needs to be PG and PG 13 and R and and it it has a place as a more kind of um, I mean it's a dystopian story but the idea that our nightmares are just as well explored and by that I mean sort of the nightmares of women and more marginalized people and th th there's a quality to the show that I hope would make women and girls and people who are not traditionally seen as belonging in genre, whatever that means, um, would see it and say, oh, this is accomplishable. Like this, this can be done. But certainly when you've worked in movies and you've, and you've written stuff that is filtered so completely through the director because it has to be and filtered so completely through the studio because it has to be. There is a, a remarkable joy to be able to write something for especially the actors of color who would not be ever given, you know, these roles in this same way and to just sit there and see it be done and be able to collaborate directly with them about what they do and don't want to say and what they do and don't want to be and, and actually not have it filtered in the way that, that um, it has to be filtered if you're writing for film. Mm -hmm. So, but I do hope in between the shrieks of horror, you know, while people are watching, <laughs> going, oh my God, I can't believe she did that. We did, um, I know you guys haven't seen it, but we did a- uh, Don't spoil. Oh, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't exactly spoilers, exactly. But there's a, there's a clone fight that involves a nude, a nude woman who's like, she's a meth, a Methuselah. They live forever, hundreds and hundreds of years um, through this new technology and it's divided the rich and the poor even more. And we did this sequence that's probably the most intense sequence in the entire show. It's two women and they, they it is an all out knockdown drag out fight. And it, we did it with a female director and you see this, this one character who, who is one of the most powerful characters in the show and she's nude and she comes, she gets killed and she comes back and she gets killed and she comes back and she gets killed and she comes back. And there's this, this wrath to her. And when we made it, we were talking about, you know, I don't have control over the male gaze. I don't have control over how people take it, but I do have control over what we were saying, which is watch the out cause it's coming, right? That's this woman is, incredibly powerful and the woman standing opposite her is also very powerful and one of them is latina and one of them is asian and they fill the whole screen they are everything and that that very much what the show was about for me was was that representational element i'm gonna shut up now but that's like oh, no. I, I i enjoyed doing it yes. i enjoyed doing it but it was very challenging um and i think anything anything with uh anything that's trying to do something different is always gonna be hard.